Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we started this new season, all back in the 1850s, with the 4x slower mod and the new industries mod. And I'm trying to get the hang of things, and uh, I'm not sure if we're in the right place. We do have negative money, but it is improving slightly each month. So if you remember from when we ended the last episode, we were at negative 50k, I believe. Now we're at negative 28, and that should improve because it's just less than halfway through the month. We are getting a lot of backlog though. Lots of milk there, lots of grains, lots of food waiting, so I think... It would do to step up our uh, number of carriages and maybe even the number of cars here. We'll see, we'll see. Right, but first and foremost, let's add a few cars here. Um, I will need to loan more. Can I? Maximum loan, 10 million. Okay, that's good. All right, great. So with that, we should be able to buy some horses here again. Uh, and then, how many? Let's see, if we have how many in there? 39 in there, maybe... Hmm... Ideally, that's 10. Because each carriage can carry 4. But some of these might just be backlog, so maybe let's get... Uh, uh, 6? 6 for now. Or 7. Let's get 7. Yeah, let's try 7. That might be too much, actually. But let's, let's just do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sign you to the milk line. And then the 2 here. Yeah, let's leave it. If you remember, we have two different colored ones here. They're just traveling on pretty chill. Yeah, they really have a hard time here. Going here. Now, thank you again, guys, for the comments and the support in this ch channel and this series in particular. You did give me a few ideas. Um, one of the ideas was to extend this line all the way there. Hmm, that could actually work, but that would need mean more money. So, if we extend this line going here, that might make it. Hmm. We'll be reducing this leg here. We'll be will not be needing this leg, which is the slow part right now. So that might just work. That might just work. But that means a longer leg for this green line. But then since that's downhill anyway, so they deliver the grain downhill, so that should be fast. And then when they go uphill, they they're not carrying anything. So maybe that should work, huh? Maybe I should have gone with that in the first place. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, let's have a look at the lines. How are you guys earning? If we look at all the lines, we are earning everywhere except this bus and the train. The train, we're still losing money. We could add a few more uh, wagons in there and I think with the additional carriages that we just built, that should improve right quick. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Alright, let's go and fast forward this a bit because all the carriages that we built, that we added, they haven't even arrived here at the station. See, all of them are lined up nicely there. But yeah, in terms of uh, speed, they will all slow down. But the good thing is they will all slow down in a consistent way. So they're not really going to wait on each other. Like, this guy is super slow. But that doesn't mean this guy will overtake him. This guy is super slow as well. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. It is... Okay, 385k. October. Let's see by November how where we will be at. Where we'll be at. Yeah, I, I think this might work. If we just spam this place with lots of carriages... Make sure there's no backlog. Maybe we don't need to remove the train station. Because my main consideration there would be that the train station is quite expensive. That's at least 100k, right? And the rails, and uh, j that just might be a bit too much for our budget right now. 
okay we we did make that the 385k a while ago right now it's 387 and more are coming all right here we go 16 and then someone will deliver that will be 20 and then someone else will deliver okay and the train is coming all right let's have a look so i think let's add i don't know two wagons in the meantime and the good thing about this game is they since changed the replacement well they they made the replacement easy so you can actually look at the vehicle which is that one set the replacement for that's the six wheels right yeah Baldwin six wheels and get wagons which are the tank cars yeah the tank cars this one so one two three I did stop it just before it arrived I think and then we add two right so that would give it a capacity of 21 plus 14 so that's, that's 28 35 and we have how much waiting 24 but that might just be right because the horde of uh, wagons are just arriving so let's add two wagons there replace will need to pay oh crap that's quite expensive okay we'll need to loan one more i might not like where this is going but this is the price of doing business there you go good 24 out of 28 and then we have one extra wagon that will uh, work fine later on let's have a look here power rating is poor 40 kilometers for flat which is its max speed medium is 15 kilometers high is not enough power oh man is this classified as high does that mean it will like fall down or something <laughs> all right let's monitor that let us monitor that crap i hate that 19 kilometers and slowing down that's pretty bad man yeah this is why the game is much much harder in the beginning in 1850s because your trains are underpowered your trucks quote unquote trucks are underpowered and uh, so ha have so little capacity you know all those problems 12 kilometers and still falling no <laughs> all right and how on how are the, the the bus lines going okay it's almost broken even that's good okay first first time it earned something i think yep first time it earned something perfect it's ramping up all right that's turning around 11 kilometers which is like uh, okay it's speeding up i think it can manage now if it has a full load i'm not sure if it can still can maybe we'll need another wagon maybe we'll need a stronger one because we do have right now it's using the Baldwin six wheels we can get a stronger one right no actually we got the stronger one already so we can get another loco if needed we can get another loco if needed just to power it up man these guys are just really crawling and we are still above interesting interesting 37 does that mean we can afford more wagons uh, wait, let's have a look is anyone waiting here already this guy is waiting now we don't have enough grain so we'll have to step up the grain as well because those grains not going anywhere so let's add five wagons put that in the grain line and let's also add okay the train is has almost arrived <laughs> almost the food also needs to be shipped faster so we need more here now what which ones did we get the lighter colored ones right now well, that's 26 let's say five in the beginning or four four first i hope i'm doing this right good make it so now there are 36 milks bottles of milk waiting and we can handle 35 yeah yeah that's just perfect so see there's now 40 so even with our current thing here can't handle that what if i add 
a wagon. Uh, not necessarily. Hmm, let me think. Let me think about this. Our train has almost broken even. That's a good thing. Although, the bad thing is, December has almost ended. Which means by January, we'll have to repay the loan of... I don't know how much. 40,000. I think. But, our finances are turning around. So, that's a good thing. Alright, there we go. 219k, how much did we lose? We lost... 45k in loans up from 30k man that sucks all right let's see so it does go full speed it does go full speed let's wait and see for a while let's go and fast forward a bit see how it looks when it's a full load if he can handle going up <laughs> yeah i'd be pretty interested to see that oh look at that Oh, that doesn't look good for you guys. Oh man. 10 kilometers and falling. <laughs> Let me go and grab a cup of coffee here. Okay, it is managing. That's good. This is just the, the hard part, this bit here, right before the trees end. But afterwards, it can build up just fine. So I don't think we should, uh, I'm not sure if we should add a loco, probably not. Maybe we can add wagons, but not locos. Or maybe both, yeah, maybe both. We have 33 here, we can handle a maximum of 35. And I assume, okay, first time, not really. Train still hasn't broken even. Maybe it's too slow, I don't really know. 43. Oh yeah, that's a bit too much. Look at that. That's so much. Do we have grain? Yes, we do have grain. Perfect. Right. 35, 55. Wow, almost doubled. What if we have two trains? Oh, I think I'd prefer one train, but one stronger train. So maybe we add... Uh, Two wagons and one loco. Will that help? Let's try. That will be even more expensive though. Let's see how much that will cost. So replacement, um, that's 1.26M. If we add one more of you, should it be at the back? I think it doesn't look good. Let's move it to the front. So double wagon, uh, double loco, and then two more wagons. Right, how much is that? 619k. Alright, let's do that. We can repay it later if need be. Since the loans only get paid afterwards anyway. Yeah, during January. So we have a lot of time to make up for that. Alright, there we go. Let's see how that works. There we go. Much more powerful. Still top speed is 40. But at least it should be able to handle most of the stuff now. Now let's see. Mediocre. Alright. So that's good. You can see from a medium slope, it now has 20. And for high, it can manage it now. So it did increase the power a bit. It did increase the power a bit. And we have the double loco setup now. Oh, super smoky. You can, you can see anything. How are the drivers doing? You guys okay? Have a look here. Let's monitor the speed. 19. Alright, still falling. Okay, this is the critical part. Fast forward. 16, 15. It is going a bit faster. Like a few kilometers faster on that bend. But during this point, it does accelerate quite fast. And so we reach top speed much faster than before. No, not really. I take, I take that back. It's not as... Uh, I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 wagons here. Maybe we can add one more. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Positive income for our train. That's perfect. That's what we want. 
All right, so all our lines, let's remove that. All our lines are earning money now. Question is, are they earning enough? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> but we'll see. 26, 27. All right. So we are getting lots of food. Are we shipping them all? Not really. I think we can afford more. If you look at the plant here, okay, there is nothing left. So that will end. That production will stop. Yeah, it will stop, definitely. 34, 35, until 36, maybe? Yeah, then that's the end. 32, alright. But we don't have enough wagons still. I think we can afford a few more here. Because the train is arriving again, yeah. Let's get maybe four more wagons. I'm not used to it. I'm so not used to the setup of the 1850s. Where you need so many, so many trucks, so many carriages on the road. Like you have to do them like neck to neck. Just so they would be in touch and make it in time. Man. Alright, 40. We have a capacity of 49. That looks perfect. And we have a couple more incoming. That's nice. Drop them off. Then we have 43. Do we not have full milk here now? We do. We do. Alright, and we have lots of grain. That's good. So do we have grain waiting here? Not really. Okay, and are we earning money? We are. We are losing money on the train, but I think that will even out later. 43 out of 49, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. But yes, this is where the backlog is now. And I'm not sure if it has taken into effect the number of wagons that I added, the number of carriages that I added. And it does seem like we're still losing money though, that's strange. Because everything is positive except that one. So we should be earning around 100,000 a month. There you go, 28.9k. If we look at the finances for this train, it's turning a profit now for the first time. 21k, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, the, the hard thing about the, the 1850s is you really have to hang tight. Hang tight to your budget and hang tight to your beliefs. <laughs> It's really a challenging time. It gets easier once you get more powerful trains, but till then, you really have to take care of it. Yeah, so it's still getting more. Yeah, yeah, I'll get maybe five more wagons. And go. Alright. Our things here. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay, how much are you carrying? 36, that's not too good. Hmm, and then there's 20 left behind. You didn't get everything, bro. What's up with you? Yeah. Alright, so we'll have to wait for this. We'll have to monitor this closely, and then we'll expand once this is stable. But I don't think it's wise to expand as early as now we'll have to make sure that we have a perfectly well-built line a well-optimized line and then we can do it but this is really nice this looks really cool a double local hype okay this time 32 hey that's not good what happened to our stuff Should I reduce my number of carriages here? Or should I increase? I think I should increase the number of wagons here yet again. Look at that. Yeah, we are up for upgrade in 7 months if we keep this production up. And we are keeping it up definitely. Yeah, look at that. How much is missing there and we've almost completed this. Maybe it would really be helpful if we move this here. But then again... That means our train will do the heavy climbing, so maybe that's not good either. 
Because in terms of climbing, well, at least in more modern-day machines, trucks climb better than trains because of the friction. More friction with the tires, tires rather than the, the wheels on the train. So here we have 28. That's not really good. So let's get more carriages in here. No waiting time? No waiting time, almost. But they're almost neck and neck if you look at it. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit questionable. This one is upgraded already, I think. 57. Yeah, and they're getting everything here. Now, it does seem like we are... We have a bit too many carriages in here. Look at that. Four, three, three. It's not full. This is four. Maybe it's just enough. Maybe it's just perfect. Alright, let's, let's leave it like that. Okay, and yeah, look at this. The build-up is real. The build-up is real. Alright, let's step it up. How many? As many as we can. Let's go all in. There. <laughs> I hope I don't regret this. But we will see if it gets too much on this, uh, on the volume of this road. We'll see that uh, the carriages start piling up here and waiting on each other. When that happens, that means we have too many carriages. And that means we'll have to unload a bit. So that's how you know that you've maximized the capacity of your line. If waiting happens. Right now, there is no waiting. There's, still, there's actually a lot of time. A lot of dead time when someone picks up milk from this place. Yeah, look at that. And then you have to wait a couple of seconds. And this is max speed, right? So, yeah. That's not good at all. Yeah, look, look, we're still going negative. Which is pretty weird. Something change? Income, railroad... Not really. Property maintenance, 27k. Even with that. No, we should not be losing money. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's have a look. Lots of waiting wagons. Maybe that's just the initial one. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, that's not waiting at all. Right, so this line is stepping up. This line has not... Hmm, it's not giving any grain. Okay, this one we have 40. Alright, that's better. That's uh, a better load. Yeah. Not much grain in there though, but it's fine. As long as we're bringing in enough milk. Alright, here comes the, the first batch. Look at how nicely spaced they are. Uh, I like the game logic in there of uh, evening out the spacing between the trucks, between the carriages. Okay, still no waiting. Barely any waiting. That's good. Yeah, that seems like the perfect number. I think that's the maximum that we can get. Yeah, that looks okay. And how much is in here? 36. And increasing. Alright, so that should lead, lead to a full load now. The train is coming back and we are unloading 48. Yes, exactly. That's what I wanted. Now, are you pushing yourself too hard? No, we do have enough grain and milk in here. So, yeah, we really need to move that milk. Okay. So, this one here... 60. Now, that's what I like to see. A full load. Perfectly full load. Okay, this one, I think we have too many. We might have a truck for food. They're not actually shifting anything anymore. But that might change. Because it's a chain reaction, right? A train there has more milk in there now so there will be more food in here as well 
And if we reduce the number of carriages here now, we might regret it because later on we'll get more food in there. You get what I mean? More milk, more food, more things to transfer, more things to move. Yeah, this is the main hurdle in the beginning of the game. How we make that work. Okay, there you go. Producing, producing. Perfect. That's what I want. Nice. Alright, the carriages are coming. We have 24 here. I think we might have a bit too many trucks though. Yeah, still I think a bit too much in there. 12. Let's see how many. Maybe we have... Uh, yeah, look at that. Two. Maybe we're, we have too much. I think we can reduce maybe four. Yeah, let's reduce like four wagons in here. I think it's, it's not needed. You go back. Actually, let's make the guy here go back. Good. Wow, how slow can you get? 15 kilometers per hour. Phew. Good. Alright, well, that's one down. That's one down. Let's get this guy next. After he delivers. How are things? I hope they're doing fine. So many people walking around. Why is no one riding my bus? Okay, you sell. Okay, we're getting food in there now. Right, let's maybe sell one of these guys. Um, somewhere in the middle, maybe. So let's let this guy pass through. Go to the food processing plant. Let's let this guy pass through. This one as well, and then let's sell this one. Just to space it out better. Yes. And then maybe this one we sell. Bit more spacing. No, no, no. Sell. Good. Alright, I think that's four. And then we just mix and match later on. Beautiful. That's a full load. And look at the number, the amount of milk in here. 37 already and it's just on its way back. So we might need even more. Longer trains, more locos. But I think a single one would work. I would, in this series, in this season, I think I'd prefer getting like very high, uh, a very long train. So I did get that mod, which allows the longer tracks, which I showed you what, um, in the previous episode, I think. So I do want to test that. Oh look, positive money. Perfect. Now that's what I want to see. Now we have 73 here. Is that going to be stable? Should I plan with that capacity in mind? 81. Let's let's give one more one more step here. Let's see how the game will react. How the uh, the the backlog will look like because I think we can maybe add uh, two more wagons and then one more loco make it like three is to one ratio um, yeah that will make it three is to one right because we have currently we have four five six seven and then if we add two more wagons that will be nine if we have if we had one loco that will be three locos so three locos nine wagons one loco is equal to three wagons that should be fair enough, I think. Now in terms of frequency, that will not be good if having one long train, but it will look cooler. And it might be more powerful, I'm not really sure how that works. If you have three small trains versus one long train with multiple locos in there. Are you carrying something? Okay. Not so much, huh? This one is not really producing that much. Potential is 248. 
This one is 248. Okay. Ah, yes, because it, it only needs one grain. Ah, okay, I understand now. I understand why this is happening. So the grain that's needed is only one piece, but it produces two milk. So the milk, that means we need twice the capacity of shipping, twice the throughput in this line, versus the part in this line, because we are shipping twice the number of products. If you get what I mean. So here, I think, it should be safe to sell some wagons maybe two of them yeah i think two of them are okay like maybe this one we sell because right now they're not really carrying to full capacity so much sometimes they are sometimes they aren't so we could do with a bit of uh, optimization in there okay train has left 49 we have 51 left. Yes, definitely. We'll need to upgrade. Maybe... Hmm... What? Two more locos? And four more wagons? Is that extreme? That adds 28. That might be good, huh? That might be good. Making a super long train. The only problem is we're only doing it one way. And yeah, we can't ship anything back because these are tankers and as much as I would want to ship something back I don't think we can I don't think there's an option yeah all right but that will that should do even if it's one way I think that should be okay all right let's do that I'll have to loan yet again but yes we we'll need a much longer train for this so, let's add one more. Actually, two more, right? One, two. Let's move that front. I wish you can just drag and drop this instead of just saying left and right. It's not too un intuitive. That. And if we say we want three wagons each, then that means we have to have a total of 12 wagons. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need 5 more wagons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 12 wagons is equal to 84 capacity, which is around this point. Yeah. Is that right? 12, 12 7, 84. Yes? Okay, good. Now, what? how much do we need? 1.56M. That's not very good. We need to borrow 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll need to pay that like so. I hope I don't regret this. We can pay off one more. Yeah, we don't we didn't need that much. Okay, loan is five million. We're halfway here to our maximum. But yeah, you really need loans in the beginning of the game, I think. At least I think so. So when this upgrades it will be a monster train. Having four locos. Let's have a look at the... Let's compare the power. This will be 40, 20, 11, right? Right now. Once it hits, let's see how it looks. Once it transforms. Remember, 40, 20, 11 for low, medium, and high slopes. Bam! Almost a maximum length train. Picking up everything? What a monster. Why didn't, why didn't you pick everything up, bro? Okay, let's wait for him to go. Okay, let, let's leave it like that. Let's leave that to him. So, if you look, mediocre. 40, 22, 12. Alright, so it's it's a bit better. It came from 40, 20, 11 to 40, 22, 12. So, overall performance is a bit better. Look at that. <laughs> People power. Train power. Oh, I love, love, I love long trains. Yeah, there's really something there, right? Something so majestic in having a humongously long train. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with that. In terms of speed, yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. It can actually climb a bit more. Previously, in this bend, in this bit here, it stays at 33. 
so now it is able to go max speed much faster and from here the smoke runs out because I think they're just gliding away because it's at full speed already minimal uh, power needed to keep the, the speed there you go that's 62k that should give us quite a few look at that 80k income from the train granted that's not the that's the peak so that's not the overall income that will even out when this train maybe is halfway here yeah we'll see right there's 53 milk here currently we can handle 84 okay that's not too good i might have overdone it a bit but we can always sell the trains later on we can sell them later on so picking up everything and go 69 out of 84 let's see if that continues we'll need to unload a bit right maybe we'll need to remove i don't know two wagons okay good so we have much food in here uh, we are running out of milk though, but the train is arriving. That's perfect. That's what I want Yeah, exactly and we have a bit of backlog, but just a little So that is looking pretty good for us So we are still in the struggle of surviving we, we did need to take a lot of loans but I think it's all shaping up to be a nice model 44? Yeah, that's not good. We'll have to unload. Why? Did something stop? Not really. We just overestimated. We didn't need that many wagons. Alright, so this is the number of wagons that are really coming out. Let's adjust based on that. Right now, we can handle 84. And there's only 48. Let's say 50. So we need to unload how many? 30 plus. So that means we need to unload 5 five wagons let's see so we currently have uh, 12 let's remove three wagons maybe and one loco yeah maybe that will be okay maybe it's a bit too much you remove that and the three newer ones one two three good you gain 797k okay good let's see how that works so that means 84 minus uh, 21 is what 63 you should have enough for that 48 that might even be a bit too much let's pay off the loan okay it's a, it's a bit smaller now but still three locos one two three four five six seven eight nine all right still three each in terms of power, let's have a look. Mediocre. 40, 22, 12. Okay, good. Very good. It's not full load though, to be honest. But yeah, let's see how that works. Okay. Maximize that. Good. Now, granted, we could get some more loans and increase our scope. Um, but yeah, let's stabilize this a bit more and then let's look for a possible thing. So let's let that sit for a while. Let's see if that will normalize. And then let's uh, keep looking where we can expand here. Maybe we can go and uh, connect two cities like these two. Connect this by, via train maybe. Maybe that will be good. Or deliver the food also somewhere else. Like in Northwich. How do we get there though? It's gonna be hard. We can deliver using that method there, but that will take forever. That road from, what is this place? Pickering. Going around there, it will take probably three years <laughs> for a carriage to arrive. <laughs> By that time, the food will be spoiled. 61 can handle 63, that's perfect. That's perfect, just a bit of spare. Nice. Oh, that's more like it. Good. Six. All right, we are, I think, be being a bit more stable now. 
So, let's have a look here. Possible areas for expansion. That one requires fertilizers. I'm not really sure where fertilizers come from here. I think they are very far away from us. Yeah, they're... Uh... Wait, I saw one before. Um... Where was it? I think it's here, all the way here. Fertilizer factory. Oh, there's one over here as well. That's like, wow. Requirements, none. Stored 29, okay. So you'll have to travel half the world away just to get it. Not going to happen. Anyway, it's not really needed. We don't really need much more grain. We need more milk. More meat, maybe. Right, but maybe we can do with this. Maybe we can uh, get some sawmill. We can get some logs. Convert it here. That can be made into sawmill or planks. Or rather, planks or wood powder. And then the planks, where would you use it? This one is interesting. That building converts two pieces of powder into one piece of paper. So paper to powder. No, powder to paper. And then the paper is actually a finished good for a city to be used in the industries. There you go. So that's something we can work with. What the heck is happening here? Wow. High production to upgrade in six months. Yeah, I know. But I didn't expect you to ramp up that quick. Do you need more? Wow. <laughs> okay. Now that's more like it. 132k on this line. Can we handle more here? We might need to switch this to a train. Because we are almost full here. Maybe we can afford maybe a few more. Yeah, we can afford a few more, maybe four more, or five more. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Sign you to the milk line. Good. I know, guys, it's, uh, progress is a bit slow, but that's how it is in the beginning. You have to really grind for it. And uh, as always, I won't take you guys with me along the entire journey. Because I know some people like that. So they see the end-to-end -end picture of how things progress, really. No skipping, no shortcuts, really doing the hard work together. Okay, that's a lot of grain. I think this guy is stepping up. Yeah, it looks like it is. That's good. That means we can add more wagons in here as well. Maybe two or three. Okay, let's have a look at the throughput. If you look at our lines, um, the food can get 253. The milk is 635, so that's more than double. So that's a bit mismatching there. The idea there is double. Because 252 times 2 should be around 500, so maybe we either need more food or more grain. Because remember, one grain is equal to two milk. That's what I'm thinking of at least, but maybe the distances also factor in. So maybe I'm making this wrong. Anyway, so... And the throughput for the train is 605, so that's, that's perfect. 633 milk in one year, 614 milk in one year for the train, so that means almost matching throughput for the truck milk and the train milk. So that means all the milk that's being transported is being transported all the way to the end. Yeah, via trucks and via train. It's good. It's really good. Okay, cool. But anyway, so, so that looks good. That looks like we can handle that. Now we do have a bit of weirdness here. 44 instead of the 60 plus something. 51, alright, fine. But that should work, hopefully, in a bit. Right, but yes, let's uh, look for something we can build on. 
if there is no industry that's applicable, you might have to go with the passenger route. What is this? Minerals and limestone. I don't think we even have that. We do have a racetrack here. We can deliver there. So that's less like a somewhere you deliver fuel to. Requirements fuel and then it doesn't produce anything. So you, I assume you earn money by just shipping there. Uh, do we have any fuel line though? I don't think so. Okay, that's bad. Okay, so let's have a look elsewhere then. Maybe we'll have to expand on some other place so we get some more income in parallel. We do have oil here. I remember seeing oil somewhere. That one. There you go. Actually, there's an oil refinery here. So we can build fuel, but we need crude oil. We need crude oil. And crude oil only comes from here. Or here, actually. Two of them. Hmm. Interesting. It's a bit difficult, isn't it? It's very challenging how you model this. <laughs> Not so sure about this. What I'm sure about is that we are earning money. Finances? Um, that doesn't look good. Come on. Ding for me. There you go. 21k. Alright. It didn't earn a lot last year. Hopefully it does earn as well here. We'll see. Okay. Mmm... Northwich. I think we we transfer people in the meantime. What do you guys think? Unless you can see an industry, you guys let me know. If you see an industry, we can tap. That one is paper mill. Nothing there. Iron ore mine here. How about that one? Oil refinery again? Maybe we'll need to, to start in a completely different area, huh? Lots of racetracks. There's a refinery here, but we don't have crude here again. Wow, the game really sucks here. The, the map really it makes you hurt a lot. Not the best placement. Okay, that one's crude oil. That one turns into fuel. And then the fuel goes nowhere here. Oh. We'll need planes for that. Cargo planes, but good luck when that will appear. <laughs> so yeah, it might be that we need to focus on transport if there's no viable way to ship goods in a near near term. I think so. Power plant, wow. Oh, so you can also deliver there, okay. Yeah, I think the next step is fuel production. I just don't know how to do it. I mean, there, we do have crude oil here. We can ship that all the way to a refinery, which is over there. Phew, that feels like a far distance, doesn't it? Probably going through some elevations as well. It's not going to be friendly for us. Um, let me see. If you guys spot a possible expansion point for us, let me know in the comments, alright? That would be pretty interesting to explore. Because right now, I got nothing, guys. I got nothing. The only thing I could find, if I remember correctly, was this one. Creating a distillery by shipping grain there and coal as well. But in order to do that, we might need a, uh, a truck line maybe? A bypass line here. Trucks delivering to this train station. Then we go around. Ooh, that's going to be pretty painful. Alright. We seem to be earning money though. Just a bit. Because we are close to paying off our loans. 
well, at least one part of our loan. Wow, we've been losing money all the way through. But that's because we've been spending money, I think. Yeah, and that includes the loans that we've taken, maybe? I don't know, that doesn't look good though. Alright. Hmm. Alright. So, what do you guys think? How should we do this? Should I expand into a city? Should I stay here and improve? Do you have any improvement points? So right now we are earning in all our lines, but I don't know why that's negative then. This looks super weird. Oh, that's nice. First time, let's pay off the loans. There. We are earning for the first time. So maybe that is good. Just need to run it more. And yes, this one, distillery, is the only possible thing I've seen so far. But if you see something else, let me know, okay? And uh, if you think moving people in cities is better, let me know as well. Oh, I like this. More demand on the buses. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Nice. Okay, great. And just like in the beginning of the episode, we're back at negative. But we do have much better, more, much more assets. We have much more assets right now. Yeah, more trucks, more wagons, more trains. So I think that's uh, balancing. Enough. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now, guys. Do let me know what you think. If you have any tips and your suggestions where we should proceed, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did like this episode, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. In the meantime, this is Teclam Seek signing off. Thanks for watching and you guys have a nice day. I do love that triple logo thing. Nice. Have a good one and bye-bye.